morning, Baycroft. I am so excited to be joining you today for this extra special episode of Baycroft TV. And that is because today we are celebrating Rainbow Day, part one, okay? Now that is exactly why I have chosen to sit in this very bright pink jumper and sit in front of the most colorful wall I could find in my house because we're gonna be talking all about rainbows, all right? Now you may have noticed recently when you go on your daily exercise and you wander about, you might have noticed that people are putting rainbows inside of their windows. Now you may be thinking this is a little bit strange. Why are people suddenly painting rainbows, drawing them, colouring them and then putting them in their window for everybody to see? Well I think they make people feel good, don't they? They are bright and colourful and fun and when you walk past them they make you feel happy and they make you want to smile. And that's what we need at the moment, a reason to feel happy and a reason to smile, which the rainbows are providing for everybody. Now this trend seems to have started in Italy and is now being used in the UK, in the US, Canada and even Spain. And you may be thinking, wow, that's a lot of countries to be using the same symbol. Why is this symbol so important? Well, rainbows usually appear after a big rainstorm. When the rain is still falling, but the sun is starting to shine through, rainbows will appear and make the sky look so bright and colorful. And at the moment, when we're in quite a dark time, we need that light and that hope to appear at the end of what may feel to some of us like a big storm. It's a symbol of peace and hope, and that is exactly what we need. Now today we are going to be looking at all things rainbow based, so we have a whole episode of rainbow based activities for you, and that's going to be the same tomorrow, two whole rainbow days to get us thinking creatively and show us how important this symbol is at the moment. So what is in store today? Today we're going to be looking at stories, photography and even rainbow based exercises and that's not just today that's going to be the same tomorrow a whole new day of rainbow based activities so let's get started shall we and take a look and see what your teachers have got in store for you today hello do you like my t-shirt can you read it thank you nhs I'm going to tell you a story about this t-shirt, okay? So, my husband came home from work and I said to him, do you like my t-shirt? Now, Mr Buckley's at work at the moment, so we'll have to use Ted as Mr Buckley, okay? So, I said to Mr Buckley, do you like my t-shirt? He said, yeah, yeah, it's okay. What do you want that for? I said, well, because I want to clap the NHS on a Thursday. Oh, he said, okay, that's fine. He said, why has it got a rainbow on it? What's that got to do with the NHS? I don't know. Well, it's just, you know, it's just a logo. It's just something, because it looks pretty. Okay, he said, and off he went to work. Now that got me thinking, why? Why have they used a rainbow? What's that got to do with the NHS? I have to find out the answer. So I'm hoping this video that I'm, I found, I'm hoping that will help me. You know, there's a lot of anxiety running and a lot of people get down in a crisis and I think art can hopefully lift you out of that. gives you hope after the rain after the gloom there's kind of you know something bright and you know the sun comes to shine so the rainbow is a really great optimistic thing well not really it wasn't very useful for me so I thought I'm gonna have to do some research now this is what I found a rainbow is considered a blessing in both the Catholic and Jewish faiths it's meant to bring good fortune and happiness after a dark time. It's also a sign that people should keep their hopes up, even in the face of adversity. 
as the problems will eventually disappear and those who have endured will reap the rewards of their efforts. The Nordic religion believes that it's a bridge built by the gods themselves and it's the only way of passage between Earth, also known as Midgard, and other realms like the Valhalla. This bridge was called the Bifrost. Greek and Roman myths tell a similar story. They consider that a messenger of the gods created the rainbow as a pass between heaven and earth. This messenger was called Iris, and she helped to create a link between humans and the divine, travelling at the speed of light between each location. Now that's interesting, isn't it? Hmm. And then Mrs. Ryan told me, she said, you must read this story. I read it and it's amazing. So I thought I would share it with you. So here it is. I'm now going to tell you a story. It's called The Prophecy of the Rainbow Warriors. An old wise woman of the Cree Indian nation called Eyes of Fire had a vision of the future. She saw, because of the white man's greed, there would come a time when the earth would be ravaged and polluted, the forests destroyed, the birds would fall from the air, the waters would be blackened, fish poisoned in the streams, and the trees would no longer be. Mankind, as we know it, would cease to exist. The warriors of the rainbow would be needed to make the earth green again. They would teach everyone how to live the way of the Great Spirit. They would tell them of how the world today has turned away from the Great Spirit, and that is why our Earth is sick. The warriors of the rainbow would teach the people how to make the Earth beautiful again. They would teach the ancient practices of unity, love, understanding, harmony, among people in all four corners of the Earth. They would teach the people how to pray to the Great Spirit so that once again they would be able to feel joy, be free of jealousies and love all mankind as their brothers, regardless of colour, race or religion. Their children would once again be able to run free and enjoy the treasures of nature and Mother Earth. The rivers would again run clear, the forests would once more be beautiful and the animals and birds would return. The poor, sick and needy would be cared for by their brothers and sisters of the earth. They would show them that miracles can be accomplished to heal this world of its ills and restore it to health and beauty. They will find willing hearts and minds that will follow them on this road of returning Mother Earth to beauty and plenty once more. So what do the colours mean? I'll show you. Red is for life and passion, as well as love and energy, anger and violence. Orange is friendship. Yellow, joy, optimism, hope. Green, nature and health. Blue, peacefulness and quiet, trust. Indigo, the spiritual world, our intuition and our feelings. Violet, healing and awareness. Why do you think the NHS adopted the rainbow as their symbol? Hello and welcome Baycroft. Uh, I've got help today, I've got Penny. I'm here to introduce today's photography challenge and it's going to be based on the theme of rainbows. And what I want you to do is to take some pictures which will show all of the different colours of the rainbow. To do that you're going to need just one piece of equipment and that's basically anything that you could take a photograph with. You could use a phone or a tablet. Maybe you've got a point and shoot camera or even a GoPro type action cam. Or if you do own a DSLR type camera, anything really that you can go out and take a picture. 
what you need to do is think about what have I got in my garden or around the house which could show each of the colours of the rainbow. So just thinking for a moment, if I wanted to show yellow I might take a picture of daffodils or dandelions or go into the bathroom and take a picture of my yellow rubber duck. What you do need to remember though is for each picture it has to be predominantly that main colour of the rainbow. So it may be a case of going right up close to get extra detail in. And also you're going to need to make sure that you've remembered all of the colours of the rainbow. To do that I often use a mnemonic called Richard of York gave battle in vain. And this is where I now slow down a bit trying to get the colours in the right order. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So if you remember that you've got each of those colours, you're going to have to go around and go right up close. It might be better if you change the settings on your camera before you go out and take your pictures and make sure you're selecting something called macro or close-up mode, because at least that way you're guaranteed to get a clear, sharp picture. Anyway, when you've gone out and done your photo shoot, go through your pictures and see if you can put them together so that you can produce a, a rainbow line showing all of the colours in the correct order of the things that you're taking a picture of. I'm going to go outside myself now and take some pictures and I'll show you some of the things that I thought would work. Please remember to send in your pictures to our email page because we like looking at all of your work. Really impressed with the quality of some of the things that are coming in. Anyway, really looking forward to seeing what you do. Thank you and goodbye for now. Morning class, hope we're all doing well. Good to see you again. Nice to see you're here again today. So we're going to be doing some calculus today. Okay? So I've been told that I'm covering a maths lesson for Mr. Mitchell. Finally I'm out of PE. It's been so long since I've been out of that. So could you all turn your textbooks to page thirty one? Sir, sir. Sorry, class, just give me a second. Sir. What? Miss Knight says it's not maths. But I was told maths. No, sir. You're doing PE. PE again. 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 Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Guys, give me a second. A few moments later. There we are. Now I'm ready for the challenge. Let's go. So, now that we're ready, and now that we're changed, what you guys are going to do is you're going to find one item for each colour of the rainbow in your house. So, we've got a red teddy bear, an orange laptop case, yellow pair of football socks, a green hat, some blue hand sanitizer, some purple blackcurrant squash, and a pink ball. So we're going to be doing something called a shuttle run between all of them. So we're going to be running the rainbow. How we're going to do this is we're going to start at our red, because that's the first colour, then we're going to run to orange and come back. We're going to go to each one and back until we get to the end, and we're going to sprint all the way for our pink. It's going to go something like this. So we get touch, Go backwards. Touch. Backwards. Touch. Backwards. So we keep going. So we're all the way to the end. We keep going backwards. And then when we get to the end, we're going to 
when we get to the final one, we're going to turn around and sprint as fast as we can. Once we've done one of those, that's your challenge. So, now it's your turn. Your challenge is to find seven items in your house for each colour of the rainbow and then take a picture of it and send it to the home learning email address. It should be pictured somewhere on screen. Once you've done that, feel free to give the shuttle challenge a go. I'll run for the rainbow and make sure, above all else, that you're there on Thursday night to clap for carers and clap for the NHS and all the key workers out there. Hope you do well guys. See you all later. Now I hope you guys enjoyed watching that as much as I did. You've got some fantastic rainbow based activities to attempt today and don't forget there will be even more rainbow based activities here tomorrow so make sure you tune in. You may even see some extra faces from Bakeroff that you've been missing. So I will see you again tomorrow. Remember, stay happy, keep smiling and stay safe. Bye!